How we doing? Been a while, ain't it? It's been a while. I think my last video was me having my dinner in the woods through the through the pandemic we're going through. Um, but I'm now I'm I'm sitting there sitting outside of Camp Bob. I am going to have a night in there tonight. Gaz is coming up, and I think Chris is coming up. I've put a um, a message on the WhatsApp group to say I was having an overnight here, so might have a few more up. I'm not sure. This is a private woodland, so we're actually fine to do this. Um, we will keep our distances inside. Um, but there again, when you look at what's happening in the world um, at the minute, it doesn't seem like there's many people keeping the distances, does it? But anyway, that's another subject. So I'm going to have a night up here, Camp Bob. Um, we've been up during this COVID-19 and done bits of work, um, trying to keep social distancing, do you know what I mean? Um, and we've done a kind of bit over the last sort of sort of month you know we've been really smashing it and getting like stuff done getting it ready for the meet hopefully because hopefully when boris opens the country up and i think it's the 4th of july um i might be wrong it might not even happen yet but 4th of july the weekend after we're going to get a meet up here you know um i think i think everybody needs a break i think everyone needs to get out so um, we've decided we're gonna try and get a meet up here um so stay tuned for that but um i'm gonna get me in there i'm gonna get me sell all packed and ready i've got a nice thai curry the night for tea i'm going to make it from from scratch um so yeah i'm going to have a little waffle before i even start this video so i'm going to do a shoot um i'll bring you back once i'm all in there and set up um so yeah i'll see you in a bit people see you in a bit oi, oi. i think someone's happy to be a bob <laughs> he's bloody mad where's he gone I think he's happy. One happy dog. Yes. Loves it up here. Absolutely loves it. <laughs> right, why am I? I might as well show you my truck. Um, I bought this standard. I bought it off my mate. Um, I got rid of my old silver one, like the camper. Um, and basically, I regretted selling it. When I drove away, I was gutted. But I got this standard. So what I've done is um, I've put some some off-road tyres on it, some bigger tyres. Um, I've put the snorkel on. I've got the uh, the roof rack with a light bar. I've got a winch bumper on it now. So it's uh, it's getting there, ready to do some adventures. Um, I haven't uh, showed you my trailer I've got. I've actually got a trailer that goes on the back. It's a Sankey trailer, turns into a kitchen. So um, that's my new buy. Um, over the past sort of six, six months, I've been getting on, getting bits done to it, you know. So yeah, I thought I'd show you that before I go in. We've got the gates there to the Camp Bob. Big metal gates on. Um, they're new. Some we all done. We all come up and hung them. Because um, we've had people coming in and damaging it. Um, and people coming in and stealing. So we've put them up. Um, cameras are all over now. So that's that done. Um, but yep, yeah, that's the new truck. Like I say, it was standard when I bought it. But I absolutely love it and like i say when that when that silver one left um the one with the roof tent and everything on with the kitchen in the back i just totally regretted selling it uh, i bought a frontera but it's not the same as it. it's not a land rover so um, and to be fair the frontera did everything that i needed to do it went green lane it done everything that the land rover did but just wasn't a land rover so my mate had that up for sale um so i bought it off him and like i say i'm just getting around doing stuff to it now um next job i'm going to do is a two inch lift because they're just rubbing a bit when you go over bumps and that. They're just starting to rub. But they are big old tyres. Kumo tyres. Um, so, yep. That's that anyway. I thought I'd show you that before I get into the woods. So I'll see you in a bit, people. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the main centre place now. We've put a new parachute up. Um, the other one ripped and everything with a with the wind. But we've got some new seating area. Um, which is a lot better. Um, from the pallets, you know, like I say the pallets done a done its purpose. It got we're in here, it got the meats together. But now we've got these. Um, this is larch and the lovely benches, you know. Um, we've got that big massive stump, and Gary got his chainsaw on it and has made a nice little throne. <laughs> so yeah, and all the wood there. Um, there's a lad come up and he made with this and on it it's got Camp Bob and everything so on the night time it all lights up 
Campo, and it's got northeast bushcraft on there. So we've got that, that's massive. It's actually got a big spit that you can put a spit in there across and just wind it on and put some nice meat on. And then we've got this over here. I'll take you over. We've got the 12x12 up. I'll show you what we've done there. Right, so as you can see, we've got a 12x12 up. Um, this is some of the lads all chipped in at Edale and we bought it. Um, we bought it off Lenny. So this is now permanent place here. It's all pegged in, going nowhere. Um, we've all put a, a new floor in. So the floor is going to be lovely and dry for them if, uh, if anyone comes up. And what it is, is it's for people who haven't got the gear, all right, who want to come up to Camp Bob but haven't got the gear and don't want to go out and spend a fortune um, before they try it, you know. So this is for you people who haven't got any gear, who watch me videos, who want to come, you know, bring your bairn up or come up by yourself with a sleeping bag. You know, we've got the foldy out beds. Yeah, they're not the best, but you know what? They'll do the job. Somewhere to lay your head on a night. It's nice and dry. Um, we've got three of them, but we're going to get more. We're going to probably get another four or five to put in there. So there's about, you know, there's room for sort of seven or eight people in there comfortably, you know. Um, and like I say, it's for people who haven't got the gear. They can come up and they can experience Bob um, and have a have a camp, you know, without going out and spending fortunes on the gear. So, yeah, that's another job that we've done. So Bob is slowly but surely getting there, you know. They say Rome wasn't built in a day. All that seating area is looking a lot better now. We're going to get a couple more. Hopefully another big log where we can do that again. So we're going to have about enough for about 20, 20 people sitting there. Then obviously when people come in, they bring the chairs up and they just sit under there anyway, you know. That's the main centre spot. We'll get a fire going and we have a few beers. We have a sing song. And that's what it's all about. Getting out away from the rat race, you know. So yeah, Camp Bob's definitely getting there. Um if you look back on some of my videos you'll see that this place you couldn't even walk through it like there's been a lot of graft gone into it but it takes time you know and it takes effort from the lads and every single member's putting the effort you know so that's good we've got a good team here anyway i'm gonna go and get the rest of my gear in so i'll see you later on right i'll just show you these um this is the female toilet block somewhere for the lasses to go um we have got a long drop set right back over the back um but obviously the lasses didn't want to go and sit on that. So what we've done is we've knocked this up. Just camouflage it off a bit, you know. Um, and I'll give you a quick look inside. It'd just be the usual light, but it's just somewhere for the lasses to go private. Um, better than going on a long drop. So there's two brand new toilets there. You just put a bag in. Jobs are good and do your stuff. And it's somewhere private for you, you know. So that's another good thing that we've done. I'll just put this back. And like I say, it's getting there. Camp Bob's definitely getting there, slowly but surely. We've had it now, I think, two and a half year. Um, and the work that's been done is absolutely unbelievable. And the farmer's spot on. He lets me get on with it, you know. Um, so, yeah. Cracking. Anyway, like I said before, I'm going to go and get my gear sorted. Right. Just sitting chilling, got the fire on, get some members up for me for me curry the night. Just giving that a good air out in here. Love it. Got me food, me couple of beers in the bags, plenty of scran. Just sitting burning some crap off. Been having a tidy up around my area, chopping some wood. And uh Chase is doing the usual chilling loving it just waiting for Gaz to come now Glenn's here Glenn's tipped up with his new dog so I'll introduce him to you little Dunstan so I see you in a bit meet Dunstan yeah, hello son. Hello. And he's a Manchester Terrier, is that right? Manchester Rat Terrier. Manchester Rat Terrier. It's Glenn's new dog. Bless him. New camp dog. Him and Chase. And they get on mint there, as you've just seen. Right, how are we doing? I'm going to make myself, I'm going to make the lads anyway, uh, Penang Curry. Thai Penang Curry. So I've got, I've got all the stuff here. Got some spinach. I'll 
keep that out because that's my pan. And tomorrow, I've got some baby corns. I have some peas. There, all oh, their meat, apple, apple and pork burgers for tomorrow. So that'll go there. What else have I got? Got the dog food. Got some coconut milk. Uh, bacon for tomorrow. Nice bag of bacon. I've got some some Thai grass whatever it is I've got some it's like a brown sugar but it's a Thai brown sugar I've got some um, they are lime leaves so we're getting some of that in got some garlic butter I've got some coconut oil to obviously cook the chicken in a bit of coconut oil uh, I've got potatoes onions I've got a bit of fish sauce, which is a required taste, but not too much of it. And then I did some Penang uh, paste. So I've done loads of it, so I've just froze it. Um, and I can use it for each curry, you know. So that does a decent sized curry. So you see, I'll get this into the pan. I'll get that on there. Get them spices, spices going. Um, Why the lads are felling a few trees that have come down with the winds. So that'll do for the that'll do for the wood, you know, for the for the next sort of couple of months. So that'll go in there. There's no else potatoes. Uh, what we've got there? Potatoes, onions, peppers, say peanut butter. It should be a nice little nice little scone for them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna crack on. You'll not wanna watch me cooking, but um I'll give you a look at it once it's all done and that, you know. But they say the lads are sitting chopping a bit of wood. Um, there's a few trees come down with all them bad winds we had. So obviously we're getting round our lap now and that'll go into the, the log store. Um, ready for the meats and that. So, spot on, I'll get on with this. I'll let the members die down a bit and then I'll uh, I'll get that cooking away. So I spot on. This is definitely where it's at. Oh, right, just bring out your back. Just put the cashew nuts in. And I've just put the uh, spinach in. So, give that a couple of minutes, and we're ready to serve. Oh, yeah. How are we doing, guys? Is my tea ready? We'll be in five minutes, kid. Five minutes. Please, sir. Can I have some more? Right, there we go. There's the Thai curry. She's looking good. Nice Thai curry with the rice. We've just had a few guests, so... We've sat and put tea off, it's now about half past eight, so it's nearly nine o'clock. Still light, but we're gonna crack on with the Thai curry and I'll get the boys uh, thoughts on my curry when I, when I serve it out. Well, he's very, not. Very nice, mate. I was just going to say, he's not saying much. It's very, very nice. What's it like? Lush, mate. Happy days. There's mine there, look. Thai curry. Help yourself, lads. Help you yourself. I've, I've whacked it in now, so right. do that there. Well, you want some curry? You know what I'm I like that, Are you sure? Plenty of curry. Room. Look, there's nose going. Little Dunstan, get up, Dunstan, <laughs> lad. Get up, me. Scran, you little tinker. <laughs> No, you can't have that, mate. It'll burn your lips off. There you go. Go on, Glenn. Dive in, mate. That's lovely, that. It's a good cooking out, isn't it? Eh? Well, we need to talk about that. What do we need to talk about? Me and Pete yeah. supplying the food for these uh, meats. meats. Yeah. Well, good morning. That's me and Chasey boy up. And Gaz is up. We didn't do no video last night, so we just sat and chilled and had a couple of beers and then off to bed early, wasn't it? Wait, 11 o'clock or something. Nice, though. Lovely, man. Nice chill. I'll give you a little look at Gaz's uh, shelter. He's been on rebuilding it. Uh, so, 
There we go. It's got a shelter. It's got his little armchair there. It's got his fire pit. And he's got a his little oven underneath. That's canny. And then he's got his little area in here. Cooking area. Somewhere to kip. And he's gonna have a big fire at the back. Um I've got a fire from Gus. Because Gus is no longer. Um the kids have found it, so I'm not bothering there. I've took all my gear away and they can have it. We're just gonna do stuff on my bikes when he eventually passes his test. I'm not gonna get when I get in to do my theory. Alright. Keeps getting cancelled. So we're gonna start going back in the woods and hammocking. Morning, Glenn. Morning. Did you keep alright? Yeah. <laughs> Where's the pup? Oh Dunstan! Oh Dunstan! How are you then? Look at you! Look at you! Ah, ah. He's straight in the scran. Hello, son! Hello, son! Isn't he lovely? Little Manchester Terrier. Like a little Doberman. Miniature. Hello, son! He's lush. So, I we're going to get our breakfast on. Just had a cup of coffee. And we're going to chill. And get some work done, I think, on my guys. Yeah, we're going to try and process some wood. Get some trees fell, that's all dead standing. Get rid of them. Mm -hmm. Beat some winds, Anna. Yeah, but we've, I've left a lot of them up as well because we we did have enough wood to burn. So that's the job for the day, Lots and then and a few other things. Glenn's doing his bit of yoga. <laughs> like yoga, Glenn. Yeah. Stretch off in the morning. Yeah, yeah, loosen off. My zen swing. My zen swings. I do this swing me. <laughs> Comfortable that bad boy, isn't it? The only downside is you can't get out of it. I know it's that comfortable. Alright, just because it tips you right back. There's not a better smell in the world, is there? Nah, fat wood. We're just sitting here now. Glenn's brought all his food up with him and he's going to knock up something. He's got pork belly and a duck leg. So he's going to have a little. We've got the fire on. We're going to get some work done. Me and Gaz. What were you laughing at? Didn't call me Foxy, you know. he said, he said to us, because I cooked yesterday, Glenn, you can cook with you. So well, well, why don't I cook? He went, so what are we going to get done if I cook? No. We'll get loads done, man. I'm a grafter, me, man. Didn't call me Paul Fox. Do you know what I mean? I didn't just <laughs> sit on my horse all day. I'll get <laughs> some graft done. Getting straight in the Foxy. <laughs> <laughs> right. So a lovely night's nice kipping there last night. Lovely. Um... I keep showing you the same stuff, but... That's what we do, isn't it? Aye, this is what we, we make, do. We make it better. Right, when are we going for the, um... When are we going for the meat? <clears throat> this, the next month, 10th, 11th and 12th, which is a Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Yep. Um, yeah, we're going to go for there, and that's basically when... Maybe we're going to do one. A when lot Boris... of people have been itching to get out, I bet. Because... Oh. Unfortunately, they haven't got the luxuries of being able to get up in their own woods because of the situation we've been in, but I can guarantee you there'll be a lot of people wanting to get out. Aye, hopefully, aye. Get them up. And all it's about 30 already, isn't it? Yeah. Um, um, we got to see some new faces, to be fair. Definitely, mate. But what uh, we can do is we can put you on the field, so if you've just got a tent, that's not a problem, is it? No, we've got a big field there. Got a big field, you can bring your camper vans up, Whatever you want, you know, um, trailer tents or whatever, tents, bring your family up and you can camp in the field, do your camping and you can also come into Bob, you know what I mean? And You know, you can have a hammock in here, there's plenty of place for a hammock, you'd, you know, you'd get a hundred people in here, wouldn't you? And some. And some, aye. So, it's a more than welcome, it'll be the 10th, 11th, finish on the 12th. Yeah, we're going to Glenn and his pals on the cook of his food. Aye. Be what, are you, what are you planning for the, for the meat, Glenn? What food were you talking about last night? Might not be a definite, but... Hung Shao Ro. Hung Shao Ro. Chinese pork and potatoes. Yeah. And maybe a chicken curry, like a Malaysian curry or something. Lovely. And then... Or maybe a spag ball, like a posh spag ball. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So there'll be food here. If you don't want to cook, this Glenn and his mate's going to come up and cook. But yep, that's the 10th, 11th and 12th. If you're going to North East Bushcraft, um, 
If you're going to Northeast Bushcraft, join there. All the dates will be on there, or just message on the bottom of this, and I can send you the details over. Um, so cracking. So hopefully, Glenn's going to knock some lovely little scran up now, and we're going to hide the radio on. So I'm going to turn this off because I'll get done for copyright, and we're going to sit and chill, have something to eat, and do a bit of graft. So we'll see you later on. Got the bait and sarnies on. For breakfast, and Glenn's over there knocking up a scran for a dinner. So it's up, Glenn, in it. Yeah, mate. Oh, that's it. He's fucking got him wound. That's it. Hey, where do you think he's gone, Dustin? <laughs> <laughs> he's off. Go ahead. <laughs> Class. Just processing some mud, guys, aren't we? Oh, Ollie's a dead fall. Look, you'll see. Just so you know, we're not there. Uh, being idiots and chopping live trees down. It's all dead. It's all punky in there. So we've got. We've done another one at the top. Oh. I don't know if you can see down there. I kind of zoom. Um, all the ones with the tops that have come off and they're obviously dying. So we've just gone round and just getting some firewood for the big meats. So the firewood there, wood stalls getting absolutely full. So we're going to crack on with this. You'll not want to hear that chainsaw going. So we'll see you in a bit. I'm just giving you a quick look here at the HW100 with my new scope and laser on. Um, the scope is an X-Sight uh, 3B14 4K. So it's perfect for my air rifle. Um, can go on a 2-2 rim fire and things like that, you know. Um, but it also comes with a ABL 1500 laser. And that laser links to, the, to this here, to the scope. Um, absolutely awesome bit of kit so basically if I'm shooting at say 30 yards and I'm popping a rabbit at 30 yards but there's another there's another uh, rabbit at 50 yards I press this button here once this is all linked up together via Bluetooth I click this button here and it uh, tells you the range and it automatically sets your crosshairs at 50 yards and it's bang on just an absolutely awesome bit of kit so I'm just gonna give you a quick quick look at it and you can also record so I'm gonna put you now onto the scope okay um, and hopefully get a bit of recording of me uh, shooting so just something a little bit different uh, me and guys are hopefully gonna be getting out a bit more shooting so this is gonna be an ideal tool for the rats and the rabbits you know and the odd wood pigeon if it flies into a tree near where I am so absolutely awesome bit of kit, brilliant bit of kit. I've had it now about six months and I absolutely love it. It's just another level. Right, what we have here, obviously you can see the range there. I'm just gonna zoom. Right, I'm just gonna have a little play about with the focus. I'll do. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna laser it. Thirty-one yards should be in the bottom right-hand corner. So I'm going to have a go at this. Thirty-one yards. So that's on there. All right. Thirty-one yards. Now what I'm going to do? I'm going to laser it again onto this. Obviously, that's down there. This is closer, so I'm going to laser it. The, the distance should come on the bottom right hand side, bottom right hand corner. Just laser that. So there we go, 27 yards. Now this should be bang on. Just make sure I've cocked it. Yep, we're all cocked, ready to go. There you go. What I'm going to do, I'm going to pull it back down to 10 yards. There's another target on a tree, which is there she is. Play about with this in the front. There we go. So we'll laser that. 
So that's 13 yards. And what we'll do is we'll take a shot on that. Bang on. So there you go, three different yards. So I'm going to go back down the end now. What I'll do is I'll just focus that in again. Uh, where is she? There it is. Go out. Come in, John. There you go. So I'm going to re relaser this down to that. 32 yards. And we'll have a go plinking these. Give it the last shot. Go for the little fella. There she is. Cracking bit of kit. ATN Excite 4K 3B14 with an ABL 1500 laser. Cracking bit of kit. That's what one you got there? Um, I'm firing a Theban Rapid 7 with um two two on the uh, mambo scope viper is it viper scope viper no, mambo no, it's, uh, it's what you call it yeah kind of panzak is panzak i can't and what it. what mark um rapid is it mark, mark one. one yeah mm -hmm. mark one nice Got a lovely sound to it. Go on, crack it off. I'll blow one in the can. Go and crack one off, son. Wallop. Right, what we've got here. Just give you a little skeg of that. Look at that, man, people. Glenn doesn't mess about when he's cooking. Some boy in the kitchen. So I'm going to sit. Well, I'm going to enjoy it. Get up. Get up. Good lad. King Wang. Peruvian black quinoa. A what? Peruvian black quinoa. Peruvian black quinoa. Quinoa. Quinoa, whatever it we call it. That's it. Just about a day mm. again. Right. Dinner is served. I'm not jumping it. Put the bloody nose bag on. And this is a Peruvian black quinoa. I'm pronouncing that right. Quinoa. Oh, here we go. I'm trying every different name for it. It's spelled anyway, quinoa, it's but pronounced quinoa. Bang on. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's lush, isn't it? Mm hmm. He's <laughs> got <laughs> his nose bag on. Them seeds. Them seeds are nice, don't It is like hemp seed, isn't it? Long enough a video is it? Hmm? Discord that. I'm gonna get fucking frustrated in a minute here. Oh that's why because I need that the video is not normal. No. Right, then it is served. Glenn has been busy with the pots and pans. Nose bag on for big GD. Oi oi. Oi oi. And we are eating Peruvian black, black. quinoa. Quinoa. That's how it's spelled, but pronounced quinoa. Quinoa. Quin. Quinoa. It fucking doesn't last long enough. What? That's going on anyway, fuck it. Do you know why? Because you've run, run out of memory? No. I'm just holding it on video. Hold my finger down on it. Why don't you just do a video? Oh, I should, shouldn't I? <laughs> and then just post it. Mm -hmm. Discord. Yeah, that's what I. I know what you mean now, you only get like 10, well, not even a minute, do you? Then it is served. Then it is served. Glenn's been with the pots and pans, and I've been wrapped up. 
Good day. Who's grasping with us? Nose bag now. Nose bag on. Mind your fingers there, walk it. And we are having Peruvian black king wang, whatever you want to call it. That stuff right there looks like hemp that I used to fish with. Mm -hmm. Spinach, sweet potato, and pork. And it's absolutely gorgeous. It's lovely, isn't it? You wouldn't get this kind of food without this kid. No. Here, oh. holy shit. Well, I can honestly say, mate, your your food must have been better than mine last night because you didn't give me a spiel like that one after the curry last night, did you? Will smallest violin for big J. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's lovely, Graham. It's just really nice, nice with the sweet potato in as well. Mm. Oh, you just know you can't afford the dirty, don't you? You want to eat this now? I want to get some of that kung wah. You like it? Mm -hmm. I like the spinach and the sauce you've made, Graham. What was that sauce you made with it? Um, the paste, what was the paste? What paste? The paste yeah, yes. you put in. Yellow curry. What was it, yellow curry? Yellow curry paste. Yeah. Yeah. Some garlic. Mm -hmm. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Mate, it's fucking good. Mate, it's the paste, because the paste has been... Got all the herbs and everything, hasn't it? It's got everything in. Took a long time. Do we take this mm -hmm. all the time, right, Graham? Not all the time. I do cook quite a bit though, most days. This kid seems a good fucking left foot and all, doesn't he? Huh? Do what? Keith. Yeah. Good left foot as well. You'll get a fucking left foot. Well, be right, funny so we've just hired up a new axe range so the axe range is near the air rifle range but we've thingied all that off basically cornered it off you know so it's safe um so go on guys you can have first shot at it mate go on hold it for me then kid two Two. You're probably going to get three. Here we go. Big J. We'll get none. Aye, Oh, I was being cocky there. Champion! 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 I just let him win because he loves it. Cut that bit out, guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, he will an alley now. He'll cut that bit out. Right, we're just processing some wood. We've got a load of wood off Gaz's mate. Um, he's a tree surgeon. So we've just chopped all that up. All ready for the... For the summer and the winter when Gaz finally gets to cut one like <laughs> now we've got a bit more to process there some logs like some decent logs and then we've got all that to process there as well so that's what we're doing the night we're staying another night Gaz aren't we, we are. we're gonna stay another night Why not? That's it, the wife says you can stop if you want. I'm sure Leroy's run there, seeing how our lass is like. Right. What do you reckon, guys? Well, he might. He's probably booked in at yours at about half ten. And then he'd be round at mine at fucking half eleven. Aye. Putting the hips. Reet out. <laughs> Aye, so we're having another night up here anyway. We've got enough food. Uh, so happy days. Just got to process some wood anyway. See you all later. Well, have a guess what? Another night. That's right, we're staying another night. The wives have said we can stop another night. Why Leroy. I come home at 8, 9 o'clock at night. You might as well stay. Leroy is definitely dipping, isn't he? He's definitely at home dipping. Two wives. Well, good luck, <laughs> So I, and have a guess what? Glenn's come back up as well. So we're going to have another night up here. So we've just we've finished chopping all the wood. 
show you me. So, got all that chopped up there. So that'll do her for a good few months. There's all that still to process. So happy days. I've got all that to burn. That's all the old wood down there. So I'm going to burn that. We're just going to hoist some scran on and just chill out again, guys, aren't we? Aye. Another night. Bugger it. We'll be up early tomorrow and we'll I'll up early tomorrow. I'll be gone on by 10, won't we, mate? Mm. But we've grafted all day, so we thought, bugger it, we'll just stop. We've got enough food to last way. So, probably won't bring you back. Actually, I might be bringing you back later because Glenn's got a new tent. It's a one tigress TB, like a hot tent thing. So, he's away setting that up now. So, I might take you down there and show you that, actually. So, yep, a bit longer video than I thought. See you all later. Little man snoring. <laughs> little, little Ben snoring. Well, it's now eleven o'clock. We've had a tea. We've had a beer. Got Glen here still. With the puppy, he's having a little snore there. And then Gaz is in the background there. How are you doing, Gaz? How are you, son? Sound. Bottle of Brunel there, what, kid? Yes. I'm just ready to open my second one and that'll do me. That's the one. Right. That's me all packed up. Wagon's ready to go. This is the field I'm on about. So you've got the woods here to go and camp in on the 10th, 11th, and 12th of July. You've also got this field, we've got running water there, and this field is absolutely massive. Glenn's still here, he had a lovely night's kip last night in his hot tent. So yeah, that's the field, you can come on here and put your tent on. Um, the grass will all be getting cut. Um, so yeah, should be should be good if you all want to come. Um, I'm really looking forward to it, I think everyone is to be fair. Just to get out of this pretty, get out of the house and Hopefully get camping again. So you have a good night, Glenn? Proper roasty toasty. Roasty toasty. Spot on, man. It's worked well then, hasn't it? Because it was cold last night, it was misty and horrible. Oh, right. oh, oh, what we're making? Just a nice little cup of sun? I've had my egg sandwich. Egg sandwich. All cooked on there as well? Ah, yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah, my coffee. Burns roasty toasty next to the... Next to the pipe? Ah, next yeah, to the yeah. Pipe. Perfect, mate. The Outbacker. Aye. Right. Outbacker stove, one tiger's tent. That's the one. Iron wall. They made a mistake when you first brought them out, put the zip on the wrong side, but we fixed it now, so. That's good then. Really, yeah. it should have it open on both sides. Aye. So you can open, you can choose which way you want to go. Um, so if one tiger's is watching, maybe put the zip on both sides so then there's never ever an issue. Um, but yeah, it's cool, mate. I awesome. actually really like it. it awesome might be good day. for me, for me yeah. bike. To be fair, yeah, brilliant. Dog's had a good night's kip. He's settled in nicely, mate, hasn't he? Yeah. To the brotherhood. Happy little thing. Right, and I'm gonna get Chase home, and that's me. So I hope he's enjoyed this video. I don't know how much I've put in, but I hope he's enjoyed. Like I say, 10th, 11th, 12th of July. We've got a meet here. You can park your cars all the way down here. Do you know what I mean? Um, for the meat, if you're camping in there, if you're camping on the field, you can put your cars next to you, you know? Um, four by fours are welcome. Uh, camper vans, whatever you want to do. So 10th, 11th, 12th of July. Um, if you go on to Northeast Bushcraft Stroke Adventures, um, you'll see the post on there. It's a pinned post. Put your name down if you want to come. If you're not on Facebook, then email us. Um, I'll put my email address on this video and you can email us to say you could be coming from wherever you know and I've got a few lads coming down from Scotland hopefully um, and I think up to now there's about 30 coming already so should be a really good meet but you can sit out and look at that it's beautiful really lovely place right that's enough for me that's no more waffle from Big John so I'll catch us all on the next one see you later